Oh. <laughs> yeah, I bet. What does Jordan Matthews bring in Oh, shoot. I mean, we just pull up his highlights. I mean, the guy's uh, made a lot of plays for the Eagles over the years. Um, he's got uh, excellent football intelligence. He knows uh, our system. He's got familiarity there. Uh, I think there's great comfort with him in the huddle. Um, there's rapport and chemistry with, with he and Carson, which is important. So um, certainly nice to get him back. Will he be a guy who just plays in the slot, or you like him outside too now? No, I think we'll move him around. Yeah, we'll move him around. Yeah, I think he'll show the capability to do, do both. Yeah. For the rest of the regular season, it's a question we've been asking you guys for a while now. But how do you replace his speed, his chunk plays moving forward? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, obviously he's unique. So, um, is it going to be just one guy that does that? And um, we got to utilize. We got plenty of good players uh, that are out there in the huddle with with Carson, and we got to um, find ways to, to create those explosive plays that you talk about, get guys open, and help them get open, and then make the plays when the plays are there to be made. This Patriots defense has had, an, has had an impressive start to the season. What stands out when you put on the film? Uh, wow. You know, they, they are very good, um, completely uh, playing great team defense, um, put a lot of pressure on you, a um, lot of blitz zero. Um, if you want to ask, you know, that, that obviously jumps off the tape. Okay, they're, uh, they're attacking um, and they're, they're pressuring a lot. And, um, you know, they don't beat themselves and they're very opportunistic and, and, and really well coached and they got really good players. Is your expectation that you'll see a lot of Stefan Gilmore on Zach Ertz? Um, we know that they're a matchup defense and, and that they're going to um, study us and, uh, and, and the matchups and how they, how they relate to their, de their defensive backs. And um, they're going to match up um, Stefan with somebody. Um, could be Zach. Talked about that. We certainly know that's a possibility. So um, we won't really know until we, until we get out there. But um, we know that that's their MO. Doug said prior to the bye, he said last week that kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit and look at the, the receiver position and how to get more production uh, from that spot. Did you, did you guys do that? Do you think you've identified what you need to do going forward to, to kind of get this group going? Yeah, I think um, uh, we have. We, you know, we evaluate uh, all facets of the offense and um, obviously have a lot of uh, – conviction in the offense and, and the system that we run and I'm um, going to continue to stick to the process and um, working, uh, you know, another couple guys in or Jordan in the, into the mix here this week. So uh, we'll be doing that and still use the guys that have, that have uh, you know, had a lot of production, still trying to find ways to get them uh, the ball and, and new spots and, and, uh, and keep it fresh. Do you like, uh, when, you, when you have this extra time, how much do you spend Self-scouting versus like extra prep for the Patriots. How does that? Uh, let me try to find a balance. It's a good question. Um, can't spend all your time um, looking in the in the rearview mirror. You got to look forward as well. And uh, certainly the Patriots have our attention. Um, we know uh, you know um, how good they are on defense. So uh, we did both. We did both. I don't know if that answers your question, but uh, to say if it's a 50-50 split, I, I'm not sure. Um, but you try, you try to do both. You try to look at yourself and, and quality control yourself. Um, we're looking for any tendencies that we might have and trying to exploit those tendencies, if you will, and then also uh, utilize the extra time to, to study the, uh, the Patriots in, in more detail than, than you can in seven days. You were able to get Zach involved earlier, and that kind of uh, turned out to be one of his better games of the season. Looking at that film, what did you see um, that made him uh, be able to kind of get open and see the ball early? Yeah, I think we had. Uh, I think maybe the first completion was uh, was it fourth down? Was that the first completion to him yeah. uh, on a fourth and two? And uh, it was a good scheme, really. I mean, um, anticipating man coverage there, and he ran a really good route. And um, Carson put it, you know, right on his numbers. We were able to convert there on fourth and two, which was big on that drive. And um, you know, he got probably got into the the feel of the game and the flow of the game there early. And uh, I think that always helps. And any of those guys, um, you know, if they can get a touch early, I think it helps the game. Hey, Mike, what's a, a main takeaway or two from the self-scouting process that you can apply to the, the song stretch here? Anything specific that you're, you're thinking of or just um, in general? Just your takeaway. Yeah, um, you know, I think there's a lot of very positive things to build on here. Um, in this in this first nine nine games of the season, um, you know, really like the way the offensive line is playing right now. 
uh, in terms of uh, how we're running the ball. The running backs are doing a really good job and uh, been able to utilize the running backs both obviously in the running game but also in the passing game. Um, been getting some good plays out of that. You know, screens uh, gotten a lot of production out of that the last uh, several games. That's been a good part of the offense too and um, continue to use uh, both both Dallas and, and, uh, and Zach. Um, the way that we have and continue to mix those things up. So um, there's things that we need to improve on. Um, there's always plays out there that you come back and you correct, uh, you know, on Monday and say, hey, you know, we left this out there. Um, and those are the kinds of things that we go back here. We had an extra practice day today, get a chance to hit some of those things. Um, but also get, a, you know, get an extra day in preparation for New England. So um, really, you know, like the direction that we're headed in right now. Is it easier now um, sort of game plan? You know, knowing for sure that Deshaun isn't going to be back, you know, before the end of the regular season, as opposed to like, well, you know, maybe he can come back, you can put in some plays for him, that type of thing. Um, I would, I would say that we were never really in the dark about where he was. So, um, you know, last week we had uh, obviously we we're hoping for more than than what we were able to get out of him um, due to the injury or whatever that was two weeks ago. Um, so, um, you know, from that standpoint, some things that we we hope to get to during the course of the game, we weren't able to get to uh, after he went out of the game. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess if I can follow up, like, yeah. you know, obviously the Atlanta game, you know, you guys game plan for him being there and stuff, and he went right. out really early and, right. and everything. So, I mean, that's kind of... Kind of what I was yeah, it's more. That's more. You know, probably. I don't think this is really answering your question, but that's more of your in-game adjustment. Um, you know, I, you know, in terms of our preparation prior to games where he, he was hurt, um, I think communication in the building was was good, and um, we weren't ever caught off guard with with whether or not he'd be available or not. What was your evaluation of, of Carson after looking closer at the first nine games? Uh, I think Carson played really well. I think there's, uh, you know, in a few of those games that um, we didn't win, there's plays that all of us look back on and, and say, um, wish we would have done this a little bit better. And, um, and certainly it's, it's not exclusive to him. It's, it's across the board, uh, all of us, from uh, the coaching staff uh, down to, to all the players on offense. And um, when we don't win, we're always evaluating that and being very critical of ourselves and um, knowing that there's things that we need to do better. But uh, at the same time, when we do things well, um, and there's been a lot of positives. And uh, I like the way we've played uh, the last two weeks, the tempo that we played with, um, his ability to, to get us in and out of uh, good plays. Um, you know, he's, I think he's done a really good job and excited about these next seven weeks. Mike, we've heard a lot about, about being run heavy is the recipe for success for this team. Carson has said it. Doug has kind of alluded to it. Do you feel like that's, that's the bread and butter of this team and, and that's how you guys are going to win moving forward? Well, I'd say we feel really confident in our run game and, uh, and our, our offensive line is playing at a high level. Um, and uh, running backs, uh, I, I you know, really like the way that they're running the ball. Um, both Jordan and uh, Miles, and and when it's it's Sproles or Boston in, in, into the mix, have a lot of confidence in those guys as well. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, um, we don't really care how we make first downs or, or how we score points, but if we can hold the ball for 40 minutes, um, like we did uh, two weeks ago, um, keep the other team's offense on the sideline, I think that's a good recipe. You think you're facing a defense that. Uh, that is as well prepared and, and studies as well as the Patriots. How important is it to show something new and, and I, I guess original when you're facing them, something you haven't shown earlier in film? Yeah, I think it's imp very important. Yeah, that's very important. I mean, we got a lot of respect for Coach Belichick and his staff and his players, and um, you know how prepared they will be. And um, we're excited. We're excited to play this game. Um, and we're looking forward to it. We know that uh, we got a good three days of preparation here on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to put ourselves in position to go out there and play our best. And um, feel like we continue to improve. Um, looking forward to it. He's speaking to us earlier, Jim Schwartz. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know. But. Uh, in speaking to us earlier, Jim Schwartz said that the staff watched the Super Bowl last week. What kind of resources that game? for the offense and the offensive staff this week? Um, it certainly is uh, a resource, um, but they're two different teams. Um, you know, you look back two years ago, uh, there's different guys that are playing for them, different guys that are playing for us, uh, different play caller for them on defense. Um, so certainly uh, the nuts and bolts of who they are, um, you know, that, that stuff, uh, they're not going to stray too far away from that. But they're playing, you know, 
a little bit differently now, just like we're playing a little bit differently now. So uh, it's, it's as much about understanding who we are and who they are right now in the moment uh, as going back and, and looking two years ago. Is that makes okay. Mike, you have an extra running back now in, in the mix. Um, now that Darren's back, you have the extra yeah. running back. Um, so is there still a role for, you know, for Boston or, you know, how do you make, how do you uh, balance that out? For Boston? Yeah, I think Boston will just be ready when his number's called. And he can do anything that we have in, on the game plan. He's, he's prepared to do that. And um, when, he's, when he's gone in there, I think he's, he's done a really good job. Mike, do you expect to have Jason Peters uh, this week? I think we're still evaluating that. But like any, any injury questions, I just kind of refer to one voice policy there. And so Coach probably has those answers for you. Sorry, Les. Can I, can I ask you just about uh, Alshon? Um, you've been around him a long time. Yeah. I, know, I know from Chicago, he had a he had number of drops this last game. His projected numbers aren't going to be anywhere near what uh, would be career lows. What's going on with him? Do you feel like he's still injured by that calf? Or um, um, why is he not playing up to what we expect? From well, him? I think Alshon would tell you that I, I've been with him for a long time now, like you said, and never seen him drop three balls. So. Um, whether it's six six years or something to get out, you know, I anticipate that happening again for the another six years. Um, guy's got excellent hands and um, he's got a proven track record in this league and is is a is a very good player and will continue to be a very good player and and we haven't lost any confidence in him and um, I know that he'll make uh, some some very important plays for us just as he did there in the fourth quarter uh, and converting that third down which was a huge play in the game. Um, making that play uh, in a contested coverage situation, um, keeping us on the field there. We were able to grind out eight minutes or something and, and put the game away. Um, so that, that was a big play for him to be able to bounce back there at the end after the other plays that I know that, that he would tell you he expects to make, as do we. So um, he'll do whatever it takes to help us win. And, um, he'll be a big part of why we win in the future. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thank you, guys.